you know ran over here and had yeah no it's like three or four things going on today yeah, like yeah wild but day. it's cool it's yeah, cool man. that's good but anyway dude yeah so dude tell me about your beard let me let me let me I, I gotta get in i gotta get in on this beard dude like what tell me about the oils tell me about the what are you, what are you doing serious? like are you I a just, serious beard guy not or? really i just uh i lived in colorado for a long time I really mm-hmm. got into snow sports okay so um it was always like it keep my face warm and then like you know when you get on big powder days man the powder's all in your face and you know you get beard sickles and it's awesome and then i was just like i don't feel like cutting it so this is yeah, like dude, that's this is the second one i've had so you do like snowboarding and stuff like that yeah, yeah. Oh, that's crazy man yeah like big yeah. mountain stuff really yeah <laughs> that's freaking exciting man the, the, i i i, I surfed for, for many 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 years i lived in hawaii for a while and i did a lot of surfing but i skied like once when i was 10 dude let me tell you something the one time I've been skiing, I was like 10 years old. I had my little sister and we went to, uh, it was in the, um, uh, uh, it was in California, uh, Big Bear or something. I can't remember what it was, but anyway, we're out there, we're out there doing it. Dude, my parents are coming up on the lift, the ski lift. And I am like, oh, there they are. I'm you know 10 years old. I'm so cool. I was like, let me, let me go down this hill. Dude, I eat it so freaking hard and do the whole tumble thing. I'm tumbling now. And then I run into the orange safety net at the bottom and I get wrapped up in it. Yeah. I get literally, it was like a cartoon, dude, like something you see nowadays in one of those fail videos. But that was That's my funny. that was my one experience with the... With the I had a bad of. experience. My first time I had a bad experience. I grew up like surfing around yeah. here, you know. Mm-hmm. And so we moved out there and uh, I went out to Loveland, Colorado and took one lesson snowboarding and fell all day. They had me in the wrong equipment. <laughs> the, the instructor was just some burnout kid, dude. And, 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 <laughs> right, he right. just really, he was like, it. yeah, this is how you do it. And then he would just, you know, he just kind of took off on us. Yeah. Yeah. So it took me years. Yeah, just go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and I was like, I'm never doing this again. Yeah. And then I had a buddy who was like, just come out with me one day. And I was like, all right, I'll go. I'll try it one more time. And okay. then from that day on, I just got hooked on it. Yeah, really? Just, yeah. I mean, I just. There was less pressure. It was your buddy. Yep. He taught me. He's like, I'll just teach you how to get down a hill. And I call it falling leaf. And you go back yeah, and yeah, forth yeah. on one edge. And then I did that for like a year. And then I finally learned how to. The day I learned how to connect my turns, something just like clicked, clicked. in my head. Yeah, man. And I was just addicted. You know, there Dude. was one winter when I had like. 40 some days on the mountain. I just fell in love about. with it, man. Wow. And then I got into hiking back country and That's going cool. up to the top of mountains and jumping off like Dude. big stuff, man. Like you see on videos. Like base jumping nice, and all that stuff? That's Not base jumping, but, but it's just like, like big cliff jumps. It, in I the mean, water it, it stuff? looks like it's like straight down, like all the way to the top of Breckenridge called Lake Shoots. Oh, dang. And it's like, it, it's fun. So this man. is in Colorado. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Now, are you from Colorado? I'm from here. Oh, you're from here? From here. Local boy. Okay. All right. So you got a wild side nature, huh? Yeah. That's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah, you got kind of like this calm demeanor about you, but I wasn't expecting that. That's cool, dude. That's very cool. I felt the same way when I started learning to surf. It's like once you get that one great wave. Right. And you learn to get on the face and start moving instead of just going forward. Like when you start getting on that face and kind of doing a little bit of this, you turn it was over. See, snowboarding's the same thing, except it, it took me so long to learn because it's backwards. Mm-hmm. You know, on surfing, you lean back, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, and you yeah. use your back your foot fins. to steer. Yeah, right. Sure. Well, snowboarding is totally different. You lean, all your pressure's on your front foot and you use your back foot to steer. Mm. Oh, to kind of pivot. Yep. Wow. Yep. So Interesting. It, and so it, that, it had, it had a hard time clicking that mm. for a long well, time. Well, yeah, because you so were a surfer. Took me, yeah, it yeah. took me twice as long to learn how to I do it. I can imagine you had a bunch of bad habits. Yeah. You That's do just fun. a board or you do skis too? Uh, just learning to ski. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mostly snowboarding. Because I, I heard the board is harder than the skis. That's just what I've heard as well. It is, but it just depends on conditions, you know. Mm. So snowboard, you'll on powder days. You want to go on powder days because you lift up on top of it and you kind of surf down. And so, mm-hmm. and, but then skiing, you want to have skis when it's icy out, right? Because mm. you carve. Mm. So it's just two different mm. things you can do. That's crazy. That's man. cool. Very cool. So you're a local boy. What uh, what high school did you go to here? Uh, York High School. Okay. York. Grew up in Yorktown. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. It, man. You on the okay. other side? You on yeah. the other side? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were down here in Virginia Beach. Yeah, both man. of us. Okay. Yeah. We went to middle school together. Right on. Yeah. yeah. We didn't do elementary, did we? It was nah, middle school, just nah. middle school, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It feels like forever. That's th- like 20 years ago now. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. nuts. 20 it's crazy. Years. It's wild. What class are you guys? Uh, high school class? Oh, three? Uh, 2003. Yeah, 2003. 2003. Yeah, 2003. Yeah, I'm 98. Uh, yeah, yeah, old, old. Man. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. my next yeah. question was: Do you do you just feel really old? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes right? I you hurt my neck today, and I'm like, I don't even know. How I did. Dude, you know what it is? It's like you get older, and like I can still 
party a little bit. I can still right. do all the things, but what happens is the, as you get older, it's like the recovery time gets longer. Absolutely. <laughs> like it's Absolutely. exponentially just getting yep. longer yep. each time. Yep. It's like, yeah, you want to go out and have some fun? Okay, yeah, we do that. And then I, I'm like, I'm out of commission for three days. Yeah, absolutely. Like, just don't call absolutely. me. Don't come to the yep. house. Like, I'm, I'm catching up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> So you, do you have kids or, or is no, it kids. married? Was, was I, got a, I got a married, married, okay. got a big dog. Cool. Yeah, got, got kids. Cool, cool. Yeah. Very yeah. nice, man. So, uh, so what are you doing these days, man? Like, uh, you know, we brought you on for a very special reason. We just yeah. met you recently. Yeah. Big time in the area, man. We got the brand new 1865 brewery. Tell us yep. about 1865. How so, you got here to this point, man? The, the brewery um, has actually been a project I've been working on for the past three years. Mm-hmm. And I was with another group of uh, business people. Uh, we opened up a couple businesses together, and um, and then it, the 1865 just kind of fell off. Or it was called Traffic Brewing. Okay. And so it just didn't it just didn't happen mm-hmm. um, financially. Mm. And so the business has actually been sitting empty for a year, and I'd kind of given up on it, moved on, got another job with a um, with space makers doing construction on breweries and restaurants yeah build outs i remember you talking yep. about that and then so um the landlord over there called me up and said hey i have these people that are really interested in the in the brewery he's like are you still interested and i said well, absolutely you know i was really bummed out yeah. that it didn't happen yeah. yeah so met billy and really really hit it off with billy and um and then met his business partner whitney and we just like we melded like right off the bat yeah so yeah we we were hanging out with you guys a couple of days ago man you yeah. know billy carey and whitney and all yeah. and and yeah. uh you guys there's a great vibe over there dude. it really is it like really we is. walked in the door and it was like okay this, this is a unified vision a unified yep. team it seems yep. like you know after interviewing you guys and doing what we do we kind of got that sense like this yeah. is this is going to be a really, really i couldn't cool be place. happier i mean these these they're young cats that are just uh full of drive mm-hmm. and they want to do the right thing and they have an awesome vision and concept that, that just really it's better that it happened with these guys because it's going to be better than it ever would have been mm. with anybody else involved it's just it's, some it's, things happen for a reason absolutely just, you know that's what yeah. it is man um yeah. you, you got to have some energy you got to have some passion and some love yeah, yeah. putting in and it know? seems like since i mean you guys don't know each other very long and right. it, it seems like they have quite a bit of trust in you because from what you were describing, you're going to have a lot of free reign to kind of push certain things. Definitely as far as the brewery side of things, like the actual yep. drinks. My wife and I have been involved in in breweries, restaurants, the side of the industry, essentially our whole lives. We've mm-hmm. been in the restaurant industry for a long time. I was a chef for a long time. I've opened up multiple restaurants. Um, and the restaurant industry just started beating me down. Mm-hmm. I just, you know, it's a really hard industry. I've heard it's been, I heard it's rough. I heard it is rough. So... Um, I got involved with breweries out in Colorado and just fell in love with the industry. And so my wife and I have been involved in the brewing industry for the past you know, 10 years or so. Uh, we go to Great American Beer Fest every every year. We've been for the past 15 years, we've been going to Great American Beer Fest because cool, we're living man. around in Colorado, in mm-hmm. the Denver area. That's beer country out uh, there, man. That's yeah. it. <laughs> and getting involved with the the brewers out there and just the industry is was not as cutthroat as the restaurant industry mm. that was gonna be my next question you, you mentioned it being you know it could be very tough you know what do yeah. you what are some of those differences that maybe makes it a little easier maybe not easier but a little bit more enjoyable maybe I, I think the camaraderie is more there with huh. with breweries you know hmm. I've never called a, a, a brewer and gotten a and had, with a question of how they do something and gotten, you know, that, well, that's proprietary type thing. Mm-hmm. They're always open arm, willing to help. Um, and it, it's more of a, not a us against them type thing, but it kind of is like craft brewers against the, the mega brewers was mm-hmm. always a thing that we were kind of, I, I feel like the industry was working on together. Mm. And so it's like-minded people that, that trade information and that the whole goal has always been, how can we make a better product than we have now? Right, and so the country That's is gone from making like we're probably making some of the worst beer in the world, <laughs> you know, just you know, mega beer, and now we make the best beer in the world. I mean, the big thing in Europe now is American style IPAs and American style breweries. So some of these wow. big craft breweries from the U.S. are going over to Europe and cleaning up, and yeah, and opening mm. up businesses. That's interesting. I did not know this. That's yeah. cool. I, I don't follow yeah. the beer industry, but <laughs> you yeah. know, this is yeah. all new to me. But that's very interesting, man. No, but that's 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 great. I mean, how is 
We, I don't go to the. Do you do the brewery thing often? Um, not often. I've been. You know, I did. Uh, you know, when Green Flash was here, I yeah. went to Green Flash a couple yeah. of times and did the outdoor dining and had yeah. some some yeah. craft beer, local beer. But it's not. Yeah, I don't do it often. I mean, what's? I, I think the answer is probably going to be the people. But like, what's exciting about this? Like the whole eighteen sixty five to you, like. Like what's really like that makes sets this apart from where you were before, and you're like, man, like this is I finally found where I need to be. Type the thing, of thing with right? 1865, uh, to me, a brewery is about like craft and putting passion into something. I mean, you can go get a beer anywhere. You can go to a yeah. I mean, you, there's tons of breweries you can go to, but just working every day at your craft and then being able to share that with people is it's a beautiful thing, and mm-hmm. it's almost it, it's freeing. It's a freedom. Of course, there's challenges with with any business that you open up. Um, but being able to share your craft with people and being able to have a, a situation where you have a, able to create so many friendships and so many connections with people because beer and coffee, like it brings people together. It's mm-hmm. something that like, you know, you get off work, have a long day. What makes you feel better than going out and having a beer with your buddies? Yeah, man. So Absolutely. Yeah. Now you mentioned this uh, the other day. And you just mentioned it now about coffee. 1865, you're not just doing the beer thing. Right. There's some other things going on. Can you talk, you know, yeah. what's, what's so happening? We're going to have like an artisan coffee shop there. Mm-hmm. We're going to be working with a local coffee um, provider, startup out of Waynesburg. Okay. <clears throat> Column 15, they make amazing coffee. And so we're going to be working together with them. Um, and so we're going to have a full coffee shop, you know, espresso machines, um, drip coffee. Nice. We're going to be using some of the beans in the beer. Hmm. Um, we're going to mm. come up with, mm. we have a lot of like different fruit drinks, smoothies, stuff that type of things we're going to do. Very nice, man. Um, huh. So no, there's going to be a lot of non-alcoholic options that aren't just like that's you're what running your mills thing, you know? Yeah, it just seems like it's going to be a place where um, most people can just go and just yep. be together. Yep. And that kind of sense of community, a local. That's really you know what, what we're mean? shooting for. We're really shooting for like a community hub. Yeah. We don't want to battle people. We don't want to. Um, we don't want to cause animosities. We don't. We're not trying to be. I don't know, like. I don't know. Is that like 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 megalomaniacs or anything like mm-hmm. that. It's not. It's not about making how seeing how much money we can make mm-hmm. or rip people off or or any of that. It's really about being a community hub and and getting conversations with people and meeting new people and creating those connections in the community that bring the whole community up. What I really liked the other day is you talk, can you talk a little bit more about like, um, cause we were asking, you know, so what kind of products beer wise are you going to be yeah. offering? And I like how you were talking about, well, we're going to, we're going to do some testing. We're going right. to hear some community feedback. Maybe you could talk about kind of your approach yeah, so when you guys open. <clears throat> we are going to, you know, there's, there's certain beer styles that we're going to run through and I'm going to do different ones at different bitterness levels. Um, and the ones that are popular, of course, we're going to keep doing. Mm-hmm. Um, we really want the, the consumers to drive what we do. We want, to, we want to connect with the people that are coming in and supporting us. Wow. And it's not about us, really. It's about the group of that we're creating there. Mm. You understand? So mm-hmm. it's not like it's not like I like this beer, so this is what I'm going to make because this is the way, mm-hmm. and we want you to buy this from us. It's, no, let's let's create, let's all create something together mm. to the point where we're going to have brewing classes. We're going to have um, this is cool work group um, team building exercises where you can come in with a group of people and make a batch of beer, and then come back two weeks later and uh, and drink it on tap and laugh at Larry's concoction that he right. made that totally sucks. So, <laughs> I mean, and if you're like a home brewer that comes in, you know, you can, you can try your home brew batches and then have a way to get them in front of the public. You know, wow, uh, if you're an assistant brewer at one of the breweries around here, maybe you're looking at doing your own thing and you can come over and make beer at our place and put it on tap and we'll see how it goes. And, how cool uh, is that? We're dude? talking about, um, maybe having a program to where, um, we have we vote on what the best batch was the best small batch was and then we're going to make a big hundred gallon batch of that wow you know and maybe that becomes one of our beers you know so that's kind of it's just really cool opportunities force. that you give into the community to come out yeah. participate yeah. be part of something right you know um and uh right. you know especially talking with whitney it's like she really described that she was just you know this is not just about making beer and selling Correct. alcohol this is that's this it. is going to be something much bigger than that that's exactly it It, it's it's bringing people together in a community and i think Mm -hmm. we really some of our communities have gotten away from that and that's really what we want to get back to knowing your neighbors knowing the people in your community supporting each other 
and driving people to to do empowering people to to do what they what they're good at doing and it sounds like that like the menu you have since it's going to be kind of diverse since it's not yeah. all alcoholic it'll stretch your hours too because if you were only doing the beers right that's right it would kind of limit like okay you can only open at what it'd be like right one o'clock or something so, like so that we're paying for the building is. anyway you know right. so right. we were trying to find a way let's space, utilize baby. the building yeah. as much as we can absolutely yeah. man that'd be great absolutely. i mean it's yeah. just endless opportunities we talk about it all the time as far as the thing that excites us about business is to be able to create opportunities. Paying your That's bills it. is fine, but we can go yeah. pay our bills at McDonald's or wherever. Right. No disrespect right. to anybody that has yep. that type of job. Yep. For but sure. You can go get a nine to five and pay your bills. The reason we work for ourselves is because we want to get to the point where we're giving opportunities to people to, for them to do what they love. And that's going to feel like real success when we have people around us doing what they love that they never thought possible. That's it. So it's cool because it seems like you guys, the team you guys have going is real focused on that. It's like we want people in here doing what they love Mm -hmm. and getting the opportunity to grow. And, you know, even though you guys aren't even open yet, it seems like you don't have the type of team that's like, no, you got to stay here forever. It's like come here, learn, grow, and then maybe you learn some things and you do your own thing. Like you might start your own business or something. Like it, it seems there's not like this hold on to everybody it's type a great of thing. Vibe. Well, it's great a, vibe it's so the far. old the old saying, right? A rising tide rises all ships. Mm-hmm. You know, so it, if you can share that, and you can share passion with people. Yeah, maybe you can you can bring everybody up in the whole neighborhood and the whole community, and then your whole community is strong. Right. Then yeah. you have res- Everybody has resources. Everybody can share it in the wealth. You know. Yeah, man. Well, I'm excited about it, dude. I, uh, I We got done the other day filming, and I was like, I went home to my wife. I was like, dude, this is going to be a place we're going to need to go to. Well, like, thank you. Regularly. Think it's, like, it yeah. just, there's an energy there. I mean, the place is gutted right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, right. you know, you'll, you guys will see right. soon. Like, you know, right. we, we produced the video uh, recently. Hey, how'd you like the video? Oh, it was great. Hey, it was awesome, great. It was great. I opened <laughs> it last soon. night. In my, Coming soon. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, um, my wife I just, was like, well, that's awesome. That's great. Yeah, you look good, man. That beer <laughs> looked good. <laughs> we lit that beer real <laughs> nice, man. But I told her, I was like, man, there's just these guys. The place is gutted. It's empty, but it doesn't feel empty. It feels right. like there's there's something brewing <laughs> brewing <Really>? here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't mean to, um, but definitely something um, being created here. It's going to be very special. I think it's going to be so cool for the area, and um, you know, you guys are getting a lot of buzz, man. And it's just going to get more and more. And and it's, everybody's clear on what the vision is. Like even though it mm-hmm. is gutted, right, right, right. Everyone kind of already explained like in in a unique way. This is what it's going to look like to the point that you could walk in there and kind of see what it's going to look like. And, and none of that like, was planned. Mm-hmm. We we came together for because there was an opportunity there, mm-hmm. of course. But we came together, and it's like everybody just knew where to go and pick <laughs> right. up and and go. That's when you know things are great, so, man. When yeah. when you don't have to try so hard. You know what I mean? Nobody's like, been banging heads. Mm-hmm. It's just, and we just met each other. And you see how, how oh, it close like we are already. seems like you guys have known each other for years. Yeah. yeah. Like for real. Like I was, oh, these yeah. guys are old buddies. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Got it. But no, you guys are, it's just, it's just, uh, Meant to be, as they said. Yeah, no, and it seems like everybody under they understand their role already. They get it, right? Like you know, Whitney and and, and Billy, they don't brew, yep. and it's like that's that's your thing. He he, he talked to him about that. Yeah, that's why we they're, they're brought not, him in. You it, know? It, we never got the feedback. It's like no, this is what he's going to be doing. You know, like right, it's like. Right. It, 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 we're open to 1865 and this is the stuff we're telling him to do it was more like talk to him that, that's his thing yeah. mm-hmm. the, 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 he'll tell you more about the flavors and what he's offering and stuff like that and that's that's cool to see because a lot of i mean you don't get that opportunity in a lot of different places too like it's like some people have that boss mentality where it's like nah, you're gonna do what i say or whatever and <laughs> it is what it is but you stifle creativity when you lead in that type of way i'm grateful for the, the opportunity to work with with them they're they're very they're very open to to ideas, and it's it's really refreshing working with someone like that. That you can That's cool. you know go to them, and bounce ideas off of them, or bounce ideas mm-hmm. off of each other. And it's just cool. Know. Like even Carrie, Carrie's is like, look, I'm just here to help. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like whatever mm-hmm. you need me to do. Right. Like that. Those right. are the kind of people that we try to surround ourselves with. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, real team people that really they care. And yeah. drop of a hat, they're ready to go. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So so you've so, done a few you've done a few things, um, and a lot of times we like to talk about like failure or something like that like what <laughs> what's some things that like you would say people need to be worried about like because you guys are starting a new business yeah. what would be some kind of maybe not red flags but some things that people starting out should kind of worry about like us we're starting out so what's some things it's like hey in my experience this is where you know things might be going to a weird direction you know, or whatever like keep your eye out for this sort of thing like mm-hmm. I, I was in a situation and um and everything because i'm a i'm an honest person you know i'm an old hippie you know mm-hmm. And and I've you know honest to the point of recklessness, <laughs> you know. So I like I, I've never, I've never, 
tried to get over on anybody or I'm just not built that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was raised by two really strong men and, and, um, and I learned a lot from my grandfather and my father about work ethic and, and being a proper human being and that type of thing, you know? And it's just, it's very easy to get taken advantage of, Mm. you know, you guess people promise you something. If you don't have it in writing, you know, sometimes that's not it, Mm. you know, and, and, and going with your gut feelings a lot of times, is something to really pay attention to because there's something if you're getting a bad feeling about something Mm -hmm. you should really look into that because it's probably something there you know and and especially in business you try to like you want everything to go well so in your mind you're you're trying to to justify things you know Mm -hmm. no he's fine he's just stressed out like there's nothing going on shady with the money Mm -hmm. like you know he's (laughs) fine you know and then but it ends up you were right not so much yeah so. Hmm. You that's think, good advice man and, and, and i mean do you think have you have you worked with this many uh leaders or, or business owners at once is this the first time you got to you well, working with like the last others? group i was involved with there was there was a lot of a lot of heads and uh um, stakeholders i guess mm-hmm. you would say and it wasn't as good of a fit mm-hmm. you know we didn't always get along yeah um so uh, it's hard to work with other people but you just have to I mean, in life too, you have to find, you have to find common ground with people and you have to, uh, you know, myself, I try to find, like, I'm kind of a compassionate person, you know, I try to find the good in every situation and sure. every person. So I, I always end up, you know, kind of on the successful end of things because mm. I, I can look at something and, and see and, and find a worth mm. in it or like, or find an opportunity in something that somebody else might not wow. see that. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's no, good. It's it's funny. I, like I always say, I I firmly believe if you do things honestly and honorably, keep your head down. Don't let your ego, you know, get yep. inflated. Just keep your head down. Do honest work. Things will work out. You're Absolutely. gonna have a lot of fa- failures on the way. But that's that's just what the happens. The long man. road, you you will it will Absolutely. work out. I believe Absolutely. that 100. percent Treat people right, man. And yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Because we're working towards this being full time, it's not yet. It's very close there. We're like mm-hmm. right at the cusp of yeah, this. Man. Like, it's like we're about to about to burn those boats. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, that's awesome. and, yeah. So, and some days it gets stressful, man. Like some days, it, it, that in the back of your head, it's like, man, it would have been easy to stay with a nine to five, man. Like it would have been easy, but then you're like, you think you're right there, and if we keep doing what we're doing, yes, it, it, you'll get enough yeses to where mm-hmm. it, it'll work out. And when you're doing what you love, you don't have to work mm-hmm. a day it's in your life. It's not work. It's not that's work, it. man. Yeah, it's just, the, it's just problem thing. solving is, is right. what it is, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and, and navigating like, because when you don't, I mean, we're learning on the go. We, we yeah. you know, the, we've got education from different things and I went to school for business and Matt went to school as well and it's like, there's certain things you know in a book, but certain things until you get out there and do it and hit your head against the wall a few times, you just don't know what to look for. So, <laughs> and it's it, not always about money. It's always right. sometimes no, it's not, you yeah, just yeah. have to do things because it's the right thing to do, or it's or you got to learn, man. Uh, yeah, you mm-hmm. know, there's there's other re- there's other driving forces that make you successful, and it's not just always money. Of course. Yeah. How you guys do with the business community as far as um like the city itself in Hampton? You guys involved in, in like talking to actual <laughs> like uh. De- city departments and stuff like that or are you just kind of doing your own thing uh, we will be okay and i don't have you know there's not people i'm actively involved with right now but i asked because you know, we that, started that, working with the city of Portsmouth, and we got uh along with like a, the team over there and they do mm-hmm. a lot of work to help businesses so yeah. it's something we're looking to look into as far as virginia beach help yeah, here locally yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. but maybe in hampton there's also a good team there that could kind of steer business and show you like hey there's tax incentives or whatever like there's definitely other business people that i've been involved with that have been extremely helpy, helpful um randy the owner of vanguard um brew house and distillery i mean that guy if it wasn't for him i don't know where i'll be right now because wow. i had a falling out with my former business partner and he was right there he gave me a job and he's been nothing but helpful, you know. Mm. And he—he's one of those people that a genuine good business man, and he—he he does everything he can to help people. Right. You know, a lot of times it, it burns him in the end, you know. But he still like tries everything he can him, to yeah. hurt people or wow. to help people. Mm. Man, that's good. Well, this is exciting, man. We appreciate you being here, dude. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we will. You know, much more to come from 1865. That's for sure. Yeah, we got we got a lot of stuff uh, cooking up over there, man. You guys are projected to be open yeah, in like well, a yeah. month and a half or something. Yeah, uh, we're shooting for mid October. There it is. it is. Yep. 
That's good. There it is, man. So. You guys, were, what's a, what's something you're going to kind of address with the whole pandemic thing? I mean, it's a weird time to open a business. It's not a, it's it not really a bad is. time, but it's a um, new challenge, right? Like, we have a, a, a very large outdoor space that we're, mm, yeah, we're projecting. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, I think we're going to be able to do some cool social distance stuff. Um, we're trying to figure out like some drive through options possibly. There we go. Um, yeah. Some pickup, um, order and pickup type stuff. We're working with a POS system where you can like, where you'll be able to order online and, and that type of thing. So. Good. Very good. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Well, we wish you all the best, man. Yeah, we, we can't we wait to see the finished it. product, man. It. It's yeah. going to be we're, a lot we're of We're really fun. excited. We're really excited. Randy, thanks yeah. for being here, yeah. man. Well, yeah. look. We're, Thank you, guys. I, I think he can catch on. You ready? Let's just we're going to a social experiment. You ready? Okay. I'm Matt. I'm Tony. And I'm Randy. And this is the Tsunami Podcast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, man. Yeah, man. Dude, thanks for coming, dude. Yeah, man. Thanks Easy, right? Yeah. Actually, yeah. We're just talking, man. Yeah. Talking about beards and snowboarding, baby. <laughs> Let's go, man. Cool. Yeah. Right.